bright light. What's it look like with it off? Hello. I'm in my bathroom because I thought I would have better light. Thought I would have better light in my bathroom, but I don't have better light in my bathroom. I guess that's not so bad. Good enough. Good enough. How's everybody doing on Tuesday? I hope you're surviving the weather. I got up this morning to hop in my car and take off and it was completely covered with ice. I'm like, here we go again. Really? Oh, that light's bad. It's just gonna have to be. Just gonna have to be. I like standing up when I do my makeup. I don't like to sit down at my vanity. I'm trying to get it so I can see my face because all these bubbles that are popping up cover my face. So if I don't see your message, it's because I might swipe them aside so that I can see my face. All right. My name is Paula Juleson and I am a unique presenter. I'm going to use all of Unique products today on my face. Earlier today, I used the exfoliating mask for the first time and it was awesome. Awesome mask. I think it's retail value, I think it's $49. But it goes a long way. Let's see if I got it here. It's right here, exfoliating mask. Just put it on with your fingers, or you can put it on. I think they sell a brush specifically for our masks, and there's a lot left in there. I barely dug into it. And you just put a layer all over your face, avoiding your eyes, leave it on for five minutes, and then wipe it off with a warm washcloth. And oh my god, feels so good! So good. Get rid of all that dead, winter, dry skin. So today, I am going to use four colors of my pressed shadows. If you want to buy a quad like this, you get four colors of your choice. And today, I'm going to use the color Irrational. It's like a gray with a little shimmer in there. And look how big around those are. That's my finger. Those are big. Irrational. I'm going to use the color Slick, which is kind of a dusty rose kind of mauve shimmer. And I'm going to use my favorite color Fervent, which is a burgundy red. It's a matte. And I'm going to use my Optimistic, which is it's, it's a highlight pretty much. I'm going to use that on my inner corner of my eye and up under my brow. And I might even use it on my nose and my cheekbone. And the quads are $52 for four shadows. Last month we had a kudos which included the quad, the Epic Mascara, and a liquid lipstick for $72. But that's done. It's April now and now we are into our fragrances. We have new fragrances. We have three. I think you can buy two fragrances for, I think it's $109 for two, and you earn free shipping. It's a pretty good deal, actually. All right, well, I'm in my bathroom, because my bedroom is way too dark, so sorry if the throne is showing, <laughs> and my ugly shower curtain, sorry. But I just feel better standing up when I do these things. So I have my face all primed. And what I'm going to use is my favorite foundation in the whole world. It's our cream foundation. And I use the color Taffeta. And it comes like this. Nice package. 
see? And it's a creamy, creamy foundation. And you put it on with a foundation brush. And you just go around like this. And I have the color Taffeta. And I just dab it on. Just dab it on my face before I blend it out. Yeah, I don't know where all the snow is. I hope we don't get it. But I about fell down on my backside this morning when I walked outside. My deck was completely iced over, and my car was horrible. Horrible. I already did my brows. I have no brows. They're kind of starting to grow. They're getting a little bushier here. It doesn't work for everybody, and we cannot say that it is a magical cure for hair growth. But our lash serum, I use it on my lashes. I have nothing on my lashes. But my lashes are thicker, and I put it up on my brows, and I'm telling you, I'm getting brows where there were no brows before. I plucked my eyebrows all through the 80s and the 90s because it was cool. And they don't grow back anymore. But they're growing now. For me, they are. But we sell this also. It's our lash serum. Good stuff. Anyway, I did my brows using our Brow Artist Brush. It's flat on one side, angled on the other. And I used our brow palette. This is the brunette palette. We have a blonde palette, brunette palette, and a dark brunette palette. And what you do is you just dip I use the angled side. You could use the flat side if you want to. What I like to do is I use the angle side, and then I use the flat side to kind of clean up. So you just dip it in the wax or some wax to tame your unruly eyebrows. And then I go back and forth in the powder. I've had this since October, and there is a lot left. You don't need a lot. And then what you do is you just, whoops. <laughs> Not used to not used to looking in the phone. And what you do is you just go along your natural brow line. And what I do is I outline above it. And below. And then I just fill it in in between. And your lashes or your brows are supposed to start. You're supposed to line up your brush like this. And they're supposed to start right there on the side of your nose. So that's where you start, and what I usually do is I just make a line, and then I brush across, just brush across, and then I outline. It's easy to do, and the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And then when I get done at that, with that, we have Behold Setting Powder, and it's like hairspray for your makeup. And it's good for your skin, and it smells really good. And I've used this numerous times for the last two, three months, and I still got three quarters of a, it's big. And it comes out as a mist, and I just spray my brows, and they last all day. They will not come off. Amazing stuff. Okay, let's finish our foundation. <clears throat> Hope everybody had a good day at work. I had to work a little bit this morning. I manage a tavern here in town, but I did not have to work this afternoon. So I kind of just laid around, gave myself a little facial, took a nap. Organized my closet. Got a lot of stuff done. All right. My lighting is bad. I apologize. Let me see if I can get it to come down. It's really good coverage. And it gives you a dewy finish. It's a cream. And it's not real wet on your face. Blends really nice. And this is the color Taffeta. <clears throat> So now what I do is I do my eyes. Some people go right into their concealer, but I like to do my eyes first. This way if I get any down here or on my upper cheek, I can clean all that up 
with my concealer. All right, so let's get into our eyes. Now we have a blending brush, which is my favorite brush. And we have a crease brush that I like to use to get in here and up under the brow. And then I'll use another crease brush to get in here in the outer corner in the crease for a little darker shadow look. But right now, I'm just going to go in the whole crease here. Hi, Jays. I'm going to go in the whole crease here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my favorite color in the whole world, Fervent. Tap, tap, tap. I always say this, but there's a whole bunch of color on there just from that tap. They last a long time. And I'm going to go right in here and I'm going to blend back and forth like this. And you can see how soft those bristles are. See? Really soft. Now, I never used to use brushes to apply my eyeshadow. I always used that cheap little sponge that came in the... came in your eyeshadow, that applicator. No. Use a brush. Use a brush. It goes on much better. I'm going to do the other way. Yep, you can put extra powder under your eye to catch the excess. Yep, you're right, and then brush it off. That's a good tip, too. That is also a good tip. And if you want it a little darker, just add more. All these colors are buildable. For those of you just popping on, I'm using our pressed shadow. Sorry, somebody's calling me. <clears throat> pressed powder. Okay, so I've got that on. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crease brush. And I'm going to use this Irrational. It's a shimmery gray color. It's really pretty. I'm going to tap into that with my crease brush, see? Just a little tap. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to apply it. I'm going to blend it out with my blending brush. But I'm going to do a V. Just a V. I'm going to come up here, and then come up there. And this crease brush is a really nice brush also. Okay, and I'm gonna blend all that out. I'm just applying it. And I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna start here, corner, I'm gonna go up, and then I'm gonna go up like this and do like a V shape. Yeah. One side looks darker. Come over. Add a little more here. It's hard to do while looking in the phone. So I might have to grab my mirror. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get our blending brush. Let me get my other one. <clears throat> and I have to get a mirror. I'm sorry. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that gray out a little so it's not so harsh looking. And I'm just going to go back and forth, up and down. And anything that comes down here, we're going to clean up with our concealer. So don't worry about it. So then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go back and forth. And the bristles are so soft on these brushes. So soft. And what this does is it adds a little drama 
to the outer corner of your eye. Just adds a little shadow there. Like that. And we're going to add more colors yet. Okay. So then what I like to do once I do that is I like to tap back into that fervent color and add a little more here because I like that red color. It's my favorite. I have gray on today, so that's why I'm using the gray. Get a little more on the lid here. See? I'm going to clean my brush off and I'm going to kind of blend that out. And to clean your brush off, all you got to do is like twirl it around on a towel or a washcloth or something like that. Okay, so I've got those two colors on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring some of that fervent underneath my lower lashes. So I'm going to tap into it and I'm just going to drag it down so I have a little color under my eye. I don't like to use eyeliner underneath my lash. I'll use it in my waterline and I'll use it up above but I just don't like to use it underneath. And we'll go over here and we'll do the other eye. And see what that does? Kind of makes your eyes pop. And we don't have any liner on and we don't have any mascara on. So it's going to look really good when I get done. So I only have the irrational gray color on and I have the fervent on my lid and in my crease and underneath. Okay, now let's add some sparkle. Now let's add some sparkle. And my other crease brush. Where, where are you? Here we are. My crease brush. And I'm going to use Slick. Now this is like a dusty, rose, mauve shimmer. I don't know if you can see that. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to apply it from the corner over right on top of that fervent. See what that does? Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. I like our crease brush because you have a lot of control with it. It's a short, stubby, little stiffer brush. And I'm just going to put it to where the center of my lid. corner over. And what I also like to do is I like to bring it up in here. And what this does, when you put lighter colors up in here, it makes your eyes seem further apart. The darker color will make them appear closer together. But I just like to add a little shimmer here. Isn't that pretty? It changes the whole look. Nice. All right. And if you wanted to, you could go down here with a little of that slick.
see how pretty that is. So now I'm going to add a little highlight and I'm just going to use my pinky. I'm going to go into my optimistic and I love this stuff. It is awesome for a highlight. Just kind of rub it on. We're going to use our blending brush and kind of blend everything out together. But just adds a little shimmer up there. And if you want, you can add a little hair in the corner of your eye to brighten your eye. See what that does? Pretty. Those colors are pretty together. So now I'm going to use my blending brush and I'm going to blend it out. I'm just going to kind of blend it out here. Get it out of the brows. <laughs> Don't want to ruin your brows. <laughs> your masterpiece. <laughs> and if you wanted to, you could go back in the corner here with your blending brush and kind of add just a little more of that irrational. I like dramatic looking eyes. see pretty looks really nice all right so I'm pretty much done with my eyes so now let's get on with our concealer <clears throat> now I get my concealer a shade or two lighter than my foundation because I also use it as a highlight I put it on my nose I put it in a triangle underneath my eyes. It's thick. So what I like to do is dampen a blending bud and I will blend it all in. You don't need a lot. Do not need a lot. Put it up here, here, all the places that the light would hit your face. And this is where we're going to clean up. So. Let me get a bud and I'm going to spray it with my Behold setting powder. This is a staple in my makeup bag. I'm going to dampen that and I'm just going to tap it out. Just tap it out and clean up. Clean up under here. Tap it out here. I have bangs, so I don't need a lot up here, but careful of your brows. <laughs> careful of those brows. And just tap it out. And it's really thick. And if you're older, like I am, 52. You don't want it to collect in your lines. So always use a damp sponge. And see that little bit goes a long way. Goes a long way. And my lighting is really bad. I thought my lighting would be better. But it's not. It's not any better. All right. Okay. So we got all that blended in. And now if you wanted to come under your eyes again, because you kind of took some of that fervent off with the sponge. Okay. 
So there's that. Now I'm going to contour. I'm going to put a shadow here to give the appearance of a cheekbone. Because I don't have any cheekbones. Just got a round face, no cheekbones. So let me find my contour brush. And I use the Sculpting Trio. Shows you the suggested use here. There's a darker color. There's a sparkly little powder, like a highlighter. And then there's a bronzy cream here too. And what I do is I just get into the darker color, suck it in, and go up to my ear. And I'll do that on the other side. Okay, so then I take that bronzy color and I'll go kind of right above it, like that. And then I'll do the other side. And we're going to blend it out with our dampened sponge. But see what that's doing already? It's making my face appear thinner and it's giving me the appearance of some cheekbones. And what I like to do is I go under here. And my nose is pretty skinny, so I don't really need to make it look any skinnier. Just go down the side of your nose. And you go underneath here. Add a little shadow under here. Cover that double chin up if you got a double chin. <laughs> See, I've got dimension here. And then you can go up underneath the brow, or the above the brows, along the hairline. Give yourself a little color up there, too. And I'm going to blend all that out with my damp sponge so that it all looks blended in. So don't worry about it. But contour, I never used to contour before either. Good stuff, good stuff. So once again, spray my sponge and we're gonna tap it out. And just tap it out Don't tug at your face. See what that does? Now I have a cheekbone. And see what that lighter concealer does? It highlights my face. I just think there's something up with Facebook here because my... Uh, Lighting has never been this bad before. You go up here. Bro, my bangs are funky today. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm not going to go anywhere, so who cares? Oh my goodness. All right, so now I have all that done. And see, I've got dimension in my face now. I've got some highlight for my concealer. I've got some shadows for my contour. So now I'm going to add a little blush right here for a little added color. I'm going to use my pressed blush this is the color Scandalous. It's like a coral color. And I've had this since October too. I tap it. And look at that. Just tapped. Don't need a lot of don't need a lot of makeup when your makeup is good makeup like Unique's. And I just tap it on. I don't go like this. I just kind of tap it on the upper cheek. Just tap it on, a little extra color, put a little rosiness in your face. See? So now what I do is I will take my Behold Setting Powder. It's a translucent powder 
And what it does is it blends everything I've done together and it just smooths everything out. It won't add any color to your face because it's translucent. And I just swirl my brush around there. A little bit goes a long way. And I just smooth everything out. And it kind of gives you that Photoshop finish. Put it over your brows, put it over your lids if you want, put it up here. And that creamy, yes, the cream foundation is awesome. It goes on really smooth. I also like to use the Mineral Touch Foundation. Now this is mineral based, see it separates and you shake it up and it comes with an eyedropper and you just put like three drops on your brush swirl it around you'll also get good, good coverage for that but my skin's a little bit drier in the winter time and this will dry to a powder finish and if you have really dry skin it kind of collects where the skin's dry so I like to use my cream foundation especially in the winter I'll use this again when summer comes around. Good stuff. And then if you'd like to, you can use three drops of this on your brush, and then you take your concealer and squirt a little bit of that on, and you mix it together, dab it all over your face, you will get full coverage. It will cover tattoos, it will cover everything. Blemishes, good stuff. But the cream foundation is really, really good. I love it. I love it. But see what that powder does? See? You can't really tell where I have the contour or anything. It's nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then, when I'm all done doing that, I put my setting spray on and that will set your makeup. It's also good to refresh yourself. Feeling a little warm under the collar during the day, just get some of that and squirt it on. It's pretty awesome, actually. Five o'clock shadow coverage, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add liner. Now, I'm going to use the brown today. I'm going to use the pencil. We also have our precision liquid. It's like a liquid pen. And we also have a dip and draw where you just dip the brush in and it's also a liquid. But today, I think I'm just gonna use my brown. And of course, I have to sharpen it. All right. And I'm just gonna go above above the lashes here because I kind of want an open look today. So I'm just going to go up here. If you wanted to, you could also get our white liner and go in the waterline here and that gives your eyes an open eye look. So I'm going to start here in the corner and it's hard to do one handed. So I'm going to start here in the corner and I'm going to go towards the center. And what I do is I smudge. I'm a smudger. So I'll get it on and then I'll take my smudge sponge and I'll smooth it all out. Because when your skin gets older, it thins out. And it's hard to get in all the little lines. But it's really creamy. It goes on really creamy. And then I'm going to do this side. And then I'm going to go over here and connect. And I want the brown because I just want a, a casual look. If I wanted drama, then I'd get my black out. So 
But I like the way the brown looks, especially with my blue eyes. And I'm really not being too careful putting it on. I'm just getting it on there because I'm going to run that smudge brush or sponge. Get it. Just a dense little hard sponge like this. And I just go along. And I kind of blend it out. I'm kind of digging in there. See? I'm going to do this one too. And the magic is when you put your Epic Mascara on. Now I put my liner on before my mascara because my lashes are so long. They're so long when I put it on that I can't get behind it. I cannot get behind my lashes. Let's see what that does. Alright. I'm losing my voice again. Why do I always lose my voice? I don't talk that much. I don't think I talk that much. Epic mascara. Now I have nothing on my lashes. Nothing. Here we go. I'm going to use two coats. I'm just going to add one at a time. So here we go. And I have to be careful because every time I apply this mascara, I'll get it up here above my above on my lid. And just nice even strokes. And hopefully you guys will see how good this mascara is. This mascara is $24. This is our one-step mascara. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. Something on the end there. But this is just one coat. Just one coat. You can see how long, how long those are. And I'm going to use two coats. But it just finishes your look. Good stuff. So I'm going to add one coat to the other. We also have a two-step mascara, which is <clears throat> our 3D lashes. And those are our fiber lashes. And what comes with that is you'll get a, a gel. And it's kind of like the Epic Mascara, but it's not as tinted and not as thick. And you apply that to your lashes first, and then you will also have fibers. So you will put the fibers on with the other applicator, and then you will put some more of that gel on to seal the fibers on your lashes. And you can also use your Epic to seal the fibers on your lashes. Pretty cool, actually. See? That's one coat. Just one coat. And I didn't even go back in for that second lash. <clears throat> so I'm going to come down here. And I don't put a lot down on my lower lashes. And this is why I don't like to put liner, because I want everybody to see how good a mascara this is. See that? Now I'm going to add a second coat. Well, I hope it doesn't snow all night. I am ready for that to be gone, gone, gone. See? Two coats. Two coats. Awesome, awesome mascara. $24. Go over here. <clears throat> 
Now we have collections and I found that if you get a collection of makeup you get more makeup for your dollar. Plus we have a really cool bag. It looks like a handbag and it comes with a gold chain where you can put it on your shoulder. Gold shoulder strap and they're quilted and they're black and they have the unique emblem on the front of them. Oh my god. So cute. But this is just two coats. Now our 3D lashes, our fiber lashes, your lashes will be like way out here. They'll look like falsies. See? Good stuff. I'm not kidding you people. This is like my 15th live I think I've done. And every time I apply this, I tell you how good it is. You guys have to buy it and figure it out for yourself. I'm going to add a little more blush. I am pasty. I need color. I am so sick of winter. All right. And that's my look. That's my look. See how much better I look? And before when I started, it just makes you feel better. When you look better, you feel better. Even when I'm not going anywhere, I put makeup on and I just feel better. I don't think I'm going to do a lipstick. I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to line my lips using our lip liner. This is pouty. It's a nude. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it all over like a lipstick. <clears throat> it's a pencil. And I just line. I don't have big fat lips. And I know I say this every time, but I don't have that. Oh, I can't remember what they call that. The V. <laughs> that V. There's a name for it. See? See? That's pretty too. And then what I'll do is I'll go over the top of it with our lucrative lip gloss. We have all kinds. Um, Lux is another favorite. It's a nude. It's a really pretty Lux. And then this is Love Sick. And it's tinted. And what's cool is it's got a little mirror. It's got a little mirror on the side so you can that flat, flat side, so it goes on smooth, but you can look in your mirror. <laughs> Genius! Isn't that pretty? Just lip liner and lip gloss. You can get three of these. I think it's sixty dollars or forty dollars. Might be forty dollars. You can get three of these for forty dollars. If you bought them single, three of them, it'd be forty-five dollars. So see, it pays to get a set. You can get three of these lucrative lip glosses for forty bucks in a set. Just go to my well, go to my makeup Paula the makeup lady page, click shop. That'll take you to my free unique website. If you want to present, you get a free website and then go to lips and it'll show all their lip products. And one of them, if you clip on the lip glosses and scroll way down through all the pictures and the cost and the ingredients, you'll see that you can get a set of three for 40 bucks. So that's my look. I don't know if I'm going to go have a cocktail or not. It's Raining, snowing, don't want to fall down, <laughs> don't want to fall down. Well, if you have any questions about anything, comment, or I'm going to add my, pin my link to the bottom of this when I'm done. You can click on that, and then you can just click shop, and you can go through all our products. You can look at everything. And we have a special kudos, you know, um, 
Teacher Appreciation Day is coming up in May. Mother's Day is coming up in May. Jimmy, you know what this is. You've been on here before, you troll. <laughs> but you can get two of the fragrances now for I think it's like $109 for two. And they're big. The bottles are like this big. And there's three different three different fragrances. And there's a story behind each one. There's a story behind each one. So you just click on fragrances and it'll tell you all about it. But brand new with Unique. And I've heard they are comparable to a lot of the Victoria's Secret um, fragrances. Thanks, Jace. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> all right. Well, I got to go. I got a big mess here. You should see this. I have, I have a sink and like very little vanity on either side and I've got stuff all over here. So I gotta go clean it up. So I hope you enjoy it. Follow me, like me, so that every time I come on, you can watch and have a safe evening. I hope you don't have to drive anywhere because I think the roads are really slick. So until probably tomorrow, if anybody wants to come on a live with me, you're welcome to. Like Jace or anybody watching, PM me. You can come to my house. We can play with makeup together. Drink some wine. It's fun. Jenny Kudo, she's a new presenter. She did it with me Saturday night. We had some technical difficulties, but it's really fun. <laughs> hi, Paula. Say hi. Okay, hi, Jimmy. All right. I'm going to let you go. Take care and be safe.